Greetings from Rachna Sagar. Today I will explain you all the activities that are included in our Mathematics Made Fun with Mentors Mojo Box. Let's start. The concepts of maths are designed in such a way that you can use each teaching aid to explain multiple concepts. Let's start with the first teaching aid. For example, you have to teach before and after. Now, 6 comes before 7 and 7 comes before 8. Like this, you will explain the before and after concept. Next concept that you can teach through these number cards are if you have to explain the expanded form of 347. So you can explain 300 plus 40 plus 7. Like this, you can explain different concepts through these number cards. Let us start with the next teaching aid that is these ice cream sticks. You can use these ice cream sticks to teach the students simple counting. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Next, you can use these ice cream sticks to teach odd and even number. You can place all these ice cream sticks on a table and then you can ask the students to collect, for example, two ice cream sticks. Now, you can ask the students, is it even or odd? Also, you can ask the students to collect three ice cream sticks and you can ask the students they are odd or even. Now, these are even and they are odd. Next concept that you can teach is ones and tens concept. For example, one ones, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones, six ones, seven ones, eight ones, nine ones and 10 ones. So, these are 10 ones is equal to 110. Let us start with the next teaching aid that is this Ganit Mala. You can use this teaching aid for explaining different concepts like addition. For example, you can count 5 beads and you can ask the students to add 2 beads. 1, 2. Now the students can count these beads and they are now 7 beads. Same way, you can explain subtraction. These are already 7 beads. You can ask the students to subtract 3 beads. 1, 2, 3. Now you are left with 4 beads. For example, you have to teach the students the table of 2. Now 2, 1's are 2. Two twos are four, two threes are six. The same way you can explain different tables. Now you are also provided with a catcher. Now, for example, you will ask the students to count six beads one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can place this catcher after six beads. These activities are designed in such a way that the students will develop creative skills, fine motor skills, gross motor skills, critical thinking skills, decision making skills, analytical thinking skills, etc. The next concept that you can teach through these judo cubes are division. Now, you can take these 10 judo cubes and you can ask the students to divide these into the group of 5. Now, the students can divide 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the second group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, this will explain the concept of division. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. The next concept that you can teach through these judo cubes is patterns. For example, 2 greens, 1 blue. Again, two greens, one blue, two greens and so on. These activities are so creative that the students will take interest and they will get interested in learning mathematics. Plus, they will definitely develop creative skills, 
decision making skills communication skills analytical thinking skills etc the next concept you can teach are simple colors orange color green color blue color white color etc these activities are designed in such a way that the students will be motivated in integrated education let's move to our next teaching aid that is our shapes family now you can explain simple shapes to the students this is a triangle this is a circle this is a square this is a rectangle now you can explain the properties for example all four sides are equal and for rectangle you can say opposite sides are equal now for circle there is no corner for triangle we have three corners next you can explain the patterns first circle then a square then a circle then a square etc now the next concept you can teach is data handling for example you can ask the students to segregate all the shapes in different groups for example circle square triangle semicircle now the students can count how many circles are there how many semicircles how many squares how many triangles now this activity will develop different kinds of skills they will learn critical thinking analytical communication fine motor skills gross motor skills and they will recognize different colors as well let's move to our next teaching aid that is math math you are provided with 5 cross 5 2 math math and colorful counters this activity or teaching aid will develop different skills like communication skills and creative skills and you can use this for explaining the students about addition subtraction tables division patterns color recognition data handling and odd and even number let's move to our next teaching aid that is taming the table you will get a kit including cards with the tables also two dices with counters now you can explain different concepts example dodging tables you can ask the students two twos are so the student can answer four then you can ask five fives are then the student can answer 25 also you can ask the students to use the dice and do an activity for example the student will roll the dice and he will get 3 after rolling the dice he will get 5 now the student can multiply it and then take out the card of 15 from the deck likewise you can explain the concepts of tables through this kit as well let's move to our next teaching aid that is the decimal kit you will be provided with 1 cross 10 grid 10 cross 10 grid etc plus two dices cards with fractions and decimals now through this decimal kit you can explain the concepts of fractions and decimals plus you will be receiving an instruction manual with this kit so that you can read it and you can do different activities and teach the concepts of maths to the students I hope you enjoyed all the activities and these activities will help you in making the classroom interactive and will help the students in fun learning and lifelong learning happy learning